Yeah, so Lisa, my name is Reed. Hi, nice Reed. To nice to meet you. Glad to be here to Definitely. discuss and chat with you a bit. Okay, so I have a hobby with my friend Billy. We okay. uh, just have short conversations about whatever topic you want. Uh, okay. Is there anything that you deeply believe is true, something that might influence you on a regular basis? Oh, yes. What would, what would that, that be? Well, to know through experience. And I noticed that, what do you believe? Let's see what your signs say. What do you believe and why? And I'll first start out with, I know to be true that we're not here to believe anything because the word lie is in believe and lie, lie is, is something contra to what we know um, because we're told to believe things regardless of how we've experienced it or have, have come to a knowing. And so believe is blind faith and gets us in a robotic uh, trance and become, we become sheeps in the herd. So to know something through experience is to allow ourselves to see the light through the dark tunnel and start to become aware that there's something more than the cage in which we're in. So what I, what I adhere to each day is how to master this simulation, this video game. And I've come to know through out-of-body experiences and metaphysical experiences the last eight years and had to Google them afterwards. I've mean, had to get online and, and find out what the heck I just experienced. Because the good news is uh, I experienced such, such profound things and didn't have a predisposition or any kind of um, inclination to believe something because it was so new and different. So uh, that that then thereby it, I understood it was something that came to me without any preconceived notion and became uh, for sure uh, more understanding and wisdom about this this realm we're in this video game or matrix if you would uh, or whatever you want to call it a simulation within a simulation within a simulation so how do we master it how do we how do we know that we're playing the video game and just taking on these bodies and that all the actors on the stage are our own creation, scripted by us? I don't know how, I mean, I haven't yet downloaded how people can become aware of that through a knowing. However, it happens to all of us at some point on this journey. Wow, okay, that's a lot. Yeah. So let me just recap just to make sure I hear me correctly. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you believe you know through experience, mm -hmm. and you, you don't want to just believe things because the word lie is in believe, and you, yeah. you want to know things. Right. And you believe believing is just blind faith. Right. It's kind of like being a sheep. Right. And experience is, is seeing the light, and, and by that you're aware of something more. And you also believe we're in this kind of master simulation, this kind of video game matrix type of world, and you're really interested in how to understand how to master this, yes. this matrix, this, this world. So wow. Um, let's. So you can I get a sense of how confident that you are that this that we are living in like a matrix video game world? For yes. To say on a scale from zero to one hundred, if one hundred is like no doubt yes. whatsoever. Yes. What, I'm, I'm absolutely positive because I've been outside my body several times and I've been in the cosmos, I've been in spaceships, and it seems as real as how we're experiencing this reality. And I've been in some spaceships which are more light, light oriented, so they're, they're not as physical as this. And they're so real and I'm awake at the time, either through meditation or just some kind of an out-of-body experience. Um, so I know through experience that there's more to this and there are more video games within video games or let's say channels on the radio dial that we can tune into based on frequency. It's, it's all about frequency. We can tune into any simulation based on frequency and if our frequency is tuned to the negative feelings then we're going to go into a dark simulation or a scary simulation. If our frequency, if we want to tune it to a, a to positive feelings, then we can go into a um, what what looks like a joy, bliss, 
simulation. So it, to master this realm, and I've, I've, under, I've experienced it numerous times, is to know how to master one's feelings, to know that we are in control of our feelings. I have yet to download how I'm in control of manifesting the realms in which I play, like this one. But I do know how to now shift my feelings from negative to positive, which is pure alchemy, like lead to gold. We're all alchemists, we've yet to discover, all of us, how to do that. And it's simply, again, knowing how to shift our negative feelings to positive. And we all have to experience the negative first in order to shift them to positive. It's just a question of how long we want to wallow in the negative feeling. Do we want to wallow in the negative feelings like misery, anguish, anger, hatred, our whole lifetime for a, a month, for a day, for a second? Or do we want to wallow in a nanosecond and shift over to the positive, joyful, gratitude, gratefulness, happiness, peaceful? All right. Yeah. So that's very interesting stuff. So you're 100% confident. I'm absolutely 100% through my experience. You know this through experience. Yes. That's, that's the main reason why you believe? I do not believe anything. The main reason why you know. I know. I is, absolutely know. It's through your experience. Without a doubt. Okay. Believe is when you have a doubt. Believe is when you have a doubt. Knowing is when you have no doubt. Okay. Is it possible for someone to know something yet be mistaken about it? No, because knowing is without a doubt. It's We all have our individual holographic realm. I'm responsible for my holographic realm, and in fact, you may be here or not, it doesn't matter. I am scripting everything that you're saying. Now, if your soul comes in, because we're having, I'm focusing on you. Have you ever noticed how, if you are a painter, I'm a painter, how you have to make things gray in the distance? Because see, we're not focusing, we're not there close up. We're not interfacing with the mountains in the distance. Once we get to the mountains in the distance, once we walk there and interface, the mountains become conscious, sentient beings, or the trees, or the people, or the things. Everything, our souls can, aspects of our souls can go into anything in our perceived matrix, people, places, or things. And so on multidimensional parallel realms, we are experiencing everything. You are here, I am there, we are everywhere. And so we bring that back into the collective consciousness okay. through experience, and then we, we gain more wisdom and understanding on the various realms in which we play. And this is a realm that we are focusing on, and we have gotten caught up in it. It's sort of like we're trapped. A lot of us think this is it, this is all there is, and we've completely forgotten about what's what we really are, which are true, perfect light beings uh, encased in anything we want to encase ourselves in, whether it's an avatar body, a tree, a dog, uh, a bird, to experience that. Now, the people out here in the distance, they're just holographic images in my holographic realm. Are these real people out here? They're just images, and until, or the trees even. Yeah or the cars, until I interface with them like I am you, your soul doesn't come in to interface with me until I actually get close enough. And, and, and then we, I still script what you say. What do you mean by that? I still am scripting because I'm responsible for everything in my holographic realm. Nothing out here does anything to me. I script it all. However, when your soul comes in, for lack of a better word, when your soul comes in, then we are trading and downloading infinite knowledge and wisdom in our computer brains, minds, and then heart to access later when we're ready. So you and I, our energetic fields are interfacing and kind of unconsciously. And how, I don't know if you're feeling it. You I'm getting a kundalini rising. Could it be possible I'm scripting what you're saying? What you it? are absolutely scripting what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not responsible. See, in your holographic realm, we may look at it differently. You know, like if you have uh, had a car accident uh -huh. and someone that witnessed it thought of it differently as you. Like the police report has three witnesses and they're all a little different. But collectively, when we interface, we somehow have got some kind of an agreement to
to make it look real in terms of synchronization. To make it look real. For us, to make it look like our co-creators are seeing the same thing. And you may be coming in as a soul, but I'm still scripting what you're saying. And in your holographic realm, you're co-creating with me at the exact same moment in time and space. However, you may agree to see it a little differently than me. I may look differently in your holographic projection. How could someone test that this is true? How, how would we know? The only true? way we know is when we know. What and that's, that's, the, that's the paradox. There's absolutely no way to test it from, a, from an outside perspective. It has to be tested from within. And you will know when you know. Is it possible for people to be mistaken about their perceptions? Not if they know without a doubt. Could someone know, if, like, think they know something without a doubt, but also they yet be mistaken about something? No, because if you know without a doubt, then you do know. Now, there are so-called things in this realm that are called brainwashing or things yeah. like that. The thing is, if you have control over this matrix, this, this realm, you can now discern the difference and you are protected. When you, when you have complete mastery over this realm, and I don't yet, none of us do, I, I'm not aware of anyone, then we are in complete ability to discern and choose negative feelings over positive. We can choose positive. And when we understand and we have the knowledge and the wisdom, we're going to want to choose positive feelings. And if we choose positive feelings like joy, bliss, happiness, peace, now think of the vibration there, the frequency, as opposed to hatred, uh, negativity, anger, um, you know, Martin Luther King said, he was way ahead of his time, war does not drive out war, only peace does that. Love does not, or uh, hate does not drive out hate, only love does that. We are programmed, we believe it to be true, we're brainwashed to, without a doubt, we think that we have to keep warring to drive out war. No, only peace. The frequency of peace gets you into a realm where there's no war. It's like stepping out of the war and going into the peace, not annihilating war. It's like stepping out of this dysfunctional economic system and, and, and stepping into a new economic system in which we will create. It's like stepping out of an, a system without money and into a new system without money or stepping out of a dysfunctional school system into a functional school system or a dysfunctional government into a divine government. Now, divine government has not been created yet, except in maybe uh, some pockets that have a sustainable society. Okay. You mentioned that there are some people in this world that, that are brainwashed, correct? Programmed, uh, if you will, brainwashed, or, implanted, if you will. I mean, I, whatever words you okay. want to use. We so, all come in with those implants, or we all put the TV programming will continually yeah. keep us brainwashed. So Hollywood. If, so if someone was brainwashed, GMOs. Yeah. How could they tell? How could they begin to be less brainwashed? How, what would be the first step? That's what I have yet to understand. Don't know. It happens to all of us, though, at whenever we're ready. And the first step is we have to be ready. And we have to agree. You know, there's an old saying, an old philosopher, I don't know his name, but he said, the children are afraid of the dark. Men are afraid of the light. So we, as, as we get older and get programmed, it's, we get blinded by the light, light being the positive feelings in this case, the, the dark being negative feelings. So we get programmed to play in, in the negative feelings. How do, we, how do we step into the light theater away from the dark? It's, no one can force us. We have to, we have to somehow just have, the, it, it's, it's, it's automatic within us when we're ready. And so there's no way to force anyone. No one can, no guru, no shaman. It's nothing outside of us. It's all within us. It's, it's almost as if a tick-tock clock uh, 
starts to get closer to you know to the time when we're ready. And so, there's no time, really. Yeah, in this realm, there is. So you know what, with 100% certainty you're in this Matrix-type world? I absolutely know, through experience. Is there anything you could figure out or see or learn to lower your confidence at all, even just a little bit? No, because yeah. I'm absolutely... See, I was in the Matrix deep, deeply. Mm -hmm. I was deeply in the center of the Matrix, completely hook, line, and sinker. Sink, sinker. Yeah. I mean, I, I got a flu shot every year. I vaccinated my kids. Uh, you know, I said, oh, well, you know, something will kill me, so I just, you know, you know, ate, a, I mean, I didn't take drugs or drink, really, so I wasn't completely uh, brainwashed. I mean, we, we escape through drugs and alcohol, and that's, <sighs> drugs and alcohol are going to keep us dumbed down and feared up, okay? And so if we're going to be, and psychedelics, you, you want to be clean. You totally want to be clean. So if someone is interested, the first step I would suggest is think about the air they breathe, the water they drink, and the food they eat. And anything they're ingesting through their nostrils, anything they're ingesting through their mouth. Um, and if they are interested in, in instead of going and getting uh, depression drugs or you know Xanax or whatever, or any kind, of, first of all, they get off of all pharmaceuticals, all, you know, I know that your body is, our bodies are habitually addicted to it, so we have to get off slowly. But I would suggest absolutely nothing in your body except organic food, water from the headwater, headwater, no headwater. municipal water because it has all kinds of pharmaceuticals in it. You can't get pharmaceuticals out through filtration. No filtration will get the pharmaceuticals out. And then of course fluoride, chlorine, and chloride. So you want to go to headwaters and get, and I'm sure there are headwaters, you go to www.findaspring.com. And so the first step is think about the air you're breathing. And if you get to open environments, nature, the second step is to think about the water you're drinking. And then the third is food because air, water, and food in that order keeps us alive. And then, you know, turn the TV off, completely turn the TV off, the radio, quit using the newspaper. Uh, understand that even alternative media is at best 25% true uh, because it's all programmed. Um, and then the other thing was, you know, yoga is great. If you're interested and you start doing these things, um, you know, um, uh, let's see, Con uh, what is it? There's all kinds of uh, Eastern methodologies, um, breathing techniques. You, you, you will, um, through, there's a thing called the hue, H-U, we start with human, uh, it's an ancient sound, so if you want to start waking up to your knowledge, to reclaim what you already know, and to understand that you're perfect light beings, that you're not going to be subjected to old, sick, and dying, you can at least, you can say the hue, you know, it's like hue for 15 minutes. You can, okay. you know, there are so many things. You find your own tools in the toolbox. All right. Well, yeah. Lisa, that was that was great. That was, <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much for the You're conversation. You're welcome. Uh, if you see me, see us around here again, I'd love to pick it up. Thank you. I appreciate your listening. No problem. <laughs> have, a, have a great day. Okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs>